Hi and welcome to see programming for Arduino a step by step guide. In previous video we have discussed a code which is modified form of a LED blink program and it was not working. Let's see how we can make it work. Arduino C provides another form of a simple if statement called if else statement. The syntax for if else statement is as follows. As you can see the first statement block following the if test is executed if and only if the relational test is logic true. Otherwise the else statement block is executed. Now our alternative blink code is changed as follows. Here again change is in the loop block. Note how we were able to get rid of one delay call by using the if else statement and requires only one test expression. Here if test is also false because counter value is 0 at this point. As a result, first statement block will not be executed as happened in previous code. But now the statement block of else will be executed and execution will move further and causes an increment in the counter. After the increment value of counter becomes 1 and now first relational test is true. As a result, if statement block will be executed. Now you will see the LEDs blinking like before but this expression is also not efficient and can be simplified further. This code can be simplified as follows. In this case we simply reverse the LED input output pins based on the if test and then make the call to digital write. The program of course still behaves as before. We can make three conclusions here. A simple if test is good enough to make the program work. But an if else actually is more efficient. The if else statements can be reworked to make it easier to read and understand. There is more than one way to write a code. Just because you have a program working doesn't mean it is the most efficient way to write the code. When you are dealing with relatively small amounts of memory, even small adjustments to the code may optimize your memory. So always try to code efficiently. To understand this concept, let's discuss the following code. Often a program requires specific actions to be taken when a specific value for a variable is read. This code determines what day it is on the basis of specific value of a variable and performs actions related to that day. For example, you might have a variable named myDay that can assume the values 1 through 7. Each value corresponds to a day starting from Sunday through Saturday. This code works but again it can be improved. The reason is because the way it is presently written the program often executes a lot of unnecessary code. For example if variable my day equals 1 which means Sunday then the first if test is true and we call the function do Sunday stuff. The problem is that the program then proceeds to perform six more unnecessary if tests although we know none of them can be true. So we need to fix this and simplify this code as follows. According to this code when variable equals 1 then function do Sunday stuff is called and all of the rest of the if tests are skipped because the first else clause is never executed if the first relational test is true. This is called a cascading if statement block. So cascading if statement block is good because it does not have to go through all the relational tests if first test is true unlike the example which we discussed previously. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.